What's up guys, today we have a mid skin fade tutorial for all you guys that want to learn how to cut hair or you're just simply bored on quarantine trying to mess up your little brother's hair. So let's get to it. So when I started recording this video, I had already started the haircut so I went ahead and uh, shaved him. But now we're going to start with no guard all the way open and make like an arch like uh, guideline. What this is going to do, this is going to give it that drop effect that we want. So now we're just going to start uh, trying to take out the first guideline we created. How I do this, I go with my lever all the way closed and I hit the bottom the bottom line that was created. Uh, I just try to hit it to make it soft, not to completely take it off because you can't really take it off unless it's with the trimmer. So first off, try to make it soft. Then I go halfway open and uh, I mean halfway closed. And then I just uh, get rid of that middle line. So what this is gonna do, it takes off like completely the whole imperfections and then I go with my trimmer. So with the trimmer, I usually try to do the corners. Don't try to don't try to use the, the whole blade too much because sometimes the whole blade uh, creates an another guideline and you don't want that. Alright, so the next step to this fade, it's gonna be the one guard all the way closed and I do the same guideline, like the same uh, size guideline as the first one, just that I do it uh, of course on top of that one. So I just start doing the same, the same type of guideline, which is the arch guideline. And again, it's gonna give it that uh, that drop, that drop effect. And and you just hit it thoroughly, so there's no there's no choppy sides or anything. You want to make it straight, as straight as possible, or as clean as possible, so the fade could pop up a little bit more. All right. So this next step is kind of similar to that one other step I had done. Uh, with my half guard uh, halfway closed, I'm gonna start um, cutting through that one guard, fading it down, and little by little, just keep closing that lever. And as I go, as I close it, I go more down. I'm just gonna do the same purpose as the other step I had just done. So now we're gonna go with the one and a half guard uh, lever open, and we're gonna create a a similar guideline like the previous ones the only thing with this guideline is that you can't go too high like you can't get into the, the top here because if you do it's gonna look like like a chopped piece so it's gonna look like if you give them a bald spot or like something like that you know so once you're done with that one and a half you're gonna go with the one and again um, it's gonna be like the previous steps. I know it sounds kind of repetitive, but this is crucial for this fade. So trust me, it works out. So you're just gonna be closing it uh, as you go down. And I also just um, get my half and start just cutting through it. And I feel like there's no rules for this. You know, like there's no rules that you can't go this high with this guard or whatever. I feel like you just have to eyeball it sometimes and do whatever you think it's best. Um, for example, you see me here just, uh, man, if anything, experimenting because at the end of the day, uh, that's what it all comes down to. It sounds kind of funky or maybe... It may be kind of scary because you're like, damn, what if I, if I hit this with a, a lower guard and I leave a bald spot, trust me. Hey, uh, sometimes you just got to do it and it turns out good and it, it's just part of the, the detailing part that not a lot of people just show you because at the end of the day, you could do, a, you could do all your guidelines and follow the steps that that are common but it'll give you a regular fade if you're not comfortable with the with the fade itself 
mm-hmm. I feel personally that you should just keep blending and blending and blending until there's until you're happy with it because of course I personally don't don't stop fading until I like the, the blend itself all right guys so now we're getting into the back part of the haircut and for this part it's important to know if your client has a, a girlfriend or not if they don't man they're not gonna see this part you know but if they do better fade that thing good because your girlfriend's gonna be on it and be like damn he messed you up so just ask them or something no i'm just playing up um, for these the for the back i didn't really uh record good because it's the exact same steps and this video was kind of improvised i just started recording out of nowhere and so i apologize about that but for the next time i want to record good but yeah for the back part it's just the same exact same steps i did on the side just that on the back just try to keep it a little bit lower and you'll be straight you'll be good and that's about it so now we're gonna get into the lineup part i'm gonna start in the middle and work my way to the sides uh you want to keep it as straight as possible so don't angle your trimmer too much like to the top or to the right to the left just keep it straight um little by little you just don't get that de- don't get uh desperate so just little by little slowly and you'll start seeing that the lineup will just start uh forming by itself without even having to push it back or having to put too much pressure on it just calmly uh, work your way through it to go over it again so it can look a little bit more crispier and as soon as I do lines I start to see a, uh, like other spots that need a little bit more fading so don't mind that um, like I said before there's no rule to this so you could just keep going with whatever guard you like or whatever guard you feel that will make this circuit a little bit more sometimes there's like little dark spots like those that need a little bit more but it's no, no, no big deal so next up I'm using a little bit of enhancement but not too much try not to go too crazy as you can see I just do a little tap so it doesn't look ridiculous you know so it doesn't look fake so it looks just like it goes with the haircut don't try to put it into the fade so now we're getting into the straight edge part and with this part you want to hit it against the grain so you can get those lines sharp and for this part I usually uh, uh, lay them down so if you could lay them down that would be better but since at the moment I didn't have a barber chair I just had a regular chair I was doing it like this so usually just go against the grain and try to take all those little hairs that are in the forehead naturally try to make it uh, try to make it look smooth and with this now it comes this uh, little detail that I, I personally like to do because there's usually hairs uh, behind the ear so I usually just shave behind the ear try to get all the little hairs that are there all the peach fuzz as you can see it right there just try to clean it up the most you can alright so now I'm gonna just clip a recomb try not to dig in too much with this because this is just for the little hairs that stick out so try to just uh, put the comb in and then bring the comb out a little bit so you're not digging into the hair and leaving a bald spot all right guys so this is it this is the cut 
hope you guys liked it i hope you guys liked the tutorial as well and i got nothing else to say except try to have fun with it with your haircuts get creative don't be scared to do anything and uh you'll go far you'll be big and till next time don't forget to like and subscribe this is barbara nando deuces Thank you.